My name is Evan, I work at Meta. We are an augmented reality company making both hardware and software. Uh, what you're seeing here is the Meta 2. This is our current augmented reality headset, and this is really the most immersive AR device right now in the market, allowing you to see and touch holograms with your hands in a very natural and intuitive way. So one important distinction to make is that this is augmented reality, not virtual reality, right? In VR, you're blocking off your view of the world entirely. You're completely transported. In augmented reality, we're bringing the virtual into the physical, right? And you're able to still see the world, see your colleagues, make eye contact, and place things around you in the world. And this device has sensors on it that can actually see surfaces, see edges, see your surroundings, make a 3D map of that world, and then track your movements within it. So you don't need any kind of external cameras to track your movements. All the tracking, all the hands tracking is done right within the headset itself. The next important thing is the level of immersion you're getting with a device like this. Some devices have very small fields of view, uh, very limited in terms of what you can see in terms of the actual content itself. This has a 90 degree field of view, which is four times of that of some of the other devices out there. And it's really the most immersive headset right now in the market with that in mind. The last thing that's important is the level of fidelity you get. A lot of VR devices, a lot of AR devices have pretty low resolution. Uh, that's because they're not tethered, right? Our device is tethered. So you can scale to the power of the compute and render really high, heavy, dense CAD models and see them in super high fidelity and as they're gonna be in the world. We use SolidWorks and also uh, 3D printers from Stratasys to actually design and manufacture and prototype this very headset. And uh, what's uh, ironic is that we're actually now using the Meta headset as a design review tool to visualize the Meta 3, pulling in SolidWorks content, wearing headsets to better communicate design intent to each other, and to also uh, communicate the value of the product to possible investors and future customers, right? So those are the main use cases we're focused on really with this headset. It's design review uh, and really sales and marketing, right? To really focus on knowledge transfer. So today, designers are designing 3D products in 2D. And our goal at Meta is to bust the designer out of a 2D world that's pretty confined and bring your product into the real world so you can see it as it's meant to be in the right context, the right scale. And with this device, we're actually creating really a communication platform, right? A platform that allows you to better communicate design intent um, or form and function to a fellow engineer or to your boss or to a customer, right? As opposed to being looking at things in 2D and having to translate them back into 3D in your mind, right? It's a very difficult process to go through. Um, so the three use cases we're trying to enable in working with SolidWorks is pulling the SolidWorks models into the headset to allow for collaborative design review, right? So you're all wearing a headset, looking at the content on a table uh, or in the conference room and making better, faster, quicker decisions, right? Getting that product to market faster. And what we're trying to do is follow that product along the product lifecycle as it goes from design to manufacturing, right? Using use cases like um, complex assembly, right? Training to better see how products should be coming together and being built. And then of course, out to the final end of the product lifecycle during its distribution in the sales and marketing phase, you're trying to actually better communicate the uh, product's value and different ways to configure it to your customers, to your retail partners, to your supply chain partners, right? And make better, faster, quicker decisions uh, around that product.